Hey guys, welcome back to another motivational cleaning video. This video was pretty intense for me. I literally cleaned for like seven hours and I was deep cleaning a lot of things in my home. I am just going down this list and trying to get through as many things as I can. The first thing I will be starting with is a load of laundry. My daughter's blanket is in dire need of being cleaned. She drags this thing everywhere and yeah, I finally convinced her to let me wash it. You'll be seeing my daughter a lot throughout this video, well, because she's home with me all the time and she loves helping mommy and seeing everything that I do. But I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. If you like this type of content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below, subscribe if you're new, and click the little bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Here, I'm just folding this giant pile of laundry that I have neglected for a couple days now. So now I'm finally getting it folded.
I did a lot of research and I found that you can clean your leather couch with white vinegar and olive oil and some baking soda and it kind of replenishes your couch. So here I'm just making the mixture of one third cup olive oil and a half a cup of vinegar. Then I'm adding some lemon essential oil so that it smells good. And then I'm just going to be wiping down my couch and it's going to restore its shine. I know that this is about to look super crazy, but once it dries, it looks nothing like this. I know it looks really dark and really odd right here, which I was a little afraid of too, but no, it actually dried and looked really nice. So now I'm going to be shampooing our quote unquote high traffic areas in our home. I literally cannot stand to walk by these dark spots any longer so I have to get them taken care of. However, this is something that is really weird to me. I do feel like these dark spots appeared very shortly after moving into our apartment. I swear I only vacuumed like three times or we were there like a month and a half. and. These dark spots were like huge just popping up so I don't know if they were just able to disguise this and cover it up really well and then after we vacuum it just reappeared but they should have changed the carpet. I'm not really sure but if you guys are familiar with this leave me some comments below and let me know what you guys do to keep this stuff like at bay. Also. I'm going to be purchasing um, a new vacuum and mop and probably shampooer and all that very soon. But I would like to know what are your guys' like favorite ones to use and why you purchased yours and all that and how much it was. I do have my eye on the cordless shark. That thing looks super cool. I see a lot of other moms with that vacuum and I would love to have it. But yeah, leave me some comments below on some of your vacuums and other cleaning products that you like to use. If you guys know how to get red stains out of carpet, please leave me some comments below. I'm pretty positive my daughter had spilt her kombucha on the floor and it was red, so it stained it red. But yeah, I had a hard time getting it out of the carpet and it's definitely still there. So leave me some comments below of how I'm supposed to get this out. <laughs> 